Hey, I'm Todd. Thanks for watching my video and do all that good YouTube stuff. Share it, like it, hit the notification bell, thumbs up, subscribe, all the things that you do. Thanks for taking the time to watch my video. 2011 Ram Dakota Bighorn replacing upper control arms. Let's get started taking the wheel off. All nuts and bolts are left to loosen right to tighten. You do want to jack the vehicle up, use safety stands. Here's a nice spot in the middle to get both sides off the ground. Have plenty of good metal on either side. So break the lug nuts loose or turn or two while it's on the ground, then jack it up and take the wheels off the rest of the way. So that's a 21 millimeter nut on there and then a 10 millimeter stud. Got a little ratchet wrench I could put in there or a regular. So then just break this loose. I'll take this wire out of this harness here. And take those bolts out of here. Sure that I see any adjustment offhand. So that bolt has got a bracket welded onto it, hold it in place. So that is the close-up of what we're doing to remove this. So the ball joint is wedged in there, the shaft is wedged in there, so we can probably turn this off. Then maybe we'll lose some lubricant on here too. It probably won't. The ball joint stud probably won't turn taking it off. Just need to usually hold that while we're putting a new one back on. millimeter bolts Doesn't seem to be any really adjustment there. No slotted holes. Give this a couple of shots with a hammer and uh, hopefully this will just pop out. Mayor, in a minute, I need to transfer this bracket over. not a lot of way in the way of uh, adjustment so we're probably okay and then we'll uh, reinstall it all right we're swapping over this bracket so this piece needs to be squeezed you see how it squeezes so it can come out of this hole so I stick a screwdriver in there to pry up to collapse this then they can slide out and we can transfer it onto our new piece Stick a screwdriver in there and pry that up and pry it out. We're ready to go. We'll reinstall this uh, new upper control arm. All 
All right, so we're putting it back together. Get you some torque specs. We'll drop the ball joint in place here. I should be able to. I should have done is loosened up the ball joint first here, and then you can see because it's going to be a little bit of an angle right here. Don't don't install it straight up like this horizontal. It's going to be down a little bit. It probably tells you to tighten up the nuts and bolts in the back there once the vehicle's in its resting on the ground position. So, but I know it's right about here. So I'm gonna install this and uh, tighten it up right about there and then I'll install the uh, ball joint and nut. I did put a little bit of Loctite on the nut, so we'll get the pry bar to pull it down into place. And we can uh, tighten up our nuts and bolts. We'll give the torque spec in a second. 130 foot pounds for the bolts in the back, 70 foot pounds for the ball joint nut, and yes, it does say everything should be at right height with the vehicle on the ground to tighten final torque on the bolts. Wheel lug nut is 135 foot pounds plus or minus 10 foot pounds. Tighten them as tight as you can in a crisscross pattern as tight as you can get it and then lower the vehicle so the wheels are touching the ground then you can complete your torque on that. And yes I'm doing other things here. It may be on another video, maybe not. 